Hello everyone, I'm Lazy Grouse, and today we're starting a new campaign with Wolfric the Wanderer in SFO Grimhammer. Because SFO just updated, and it gave Norska some new fun stuff to play with, namely Plunder, which makes perfect sense for the faction, and it's pretty obvious how to get it. You just have to fight or burn stuff. Although you don't get it from raiding, which doesn't make much sense to me, but you can also get it from characters, events, and buildings. And we're gonna use this to build some special buildings and for some tech, and we'll check those out as we go. But they also updated the SFO settings, so they give you a lot of options to customize your campaign. You can change the difficulty, but right now we're playing on very hard, very hard, so we're gonna leave it at that for now. You can change the caps, or just change the pacing of the campaign by giving replenishment, or technology, or just army movement. And you can change the battles by just battle speed, by making things do more or less damage. You can... Uh, Change the siege types to always be settlement battles in settlement battles. Or just put walls on everything. And I think that's on everything. So that's some fun stuff to change. But we're gonna, ch we're gonna leave this mostly just uh, default. Except for the growth. Because I want to grow just a little bit faster. Because there's some high tier units that's unique to Wolfric that I want to get to a little bit faster. But I don't think this is gonna make things easier for us. Because... The AI also gets this, and we're just gonna do it a little bit extra. So we might get some higher tier units a little bit faster, but so will the AI. So I think this is gonna make things a little bit more interesting, and uh, just get us some more interesting units a little bit faster, so we're not stuck with basic marauders for the most of the game. And I think that's pretty good. And I'm thinking with this campaign that we all played a Wolfric campaign at some point, and most of the time we just go around fighting in the Empire, but... I've been doing that a lot lately, so we're gonna go wandering with the Wanderer. And uh, we're gonna go and conquer some of Norska first to build up an economy, but once we've done that, we're gonna go on an adventure. And I think my first target is gonna be the Elf Donut, because I wanna get the Sword of Cain on Wolfric, and then we'll just see where we go from there. But first, let's take Norska, and I want to confederate Throg, because he's gonna be the defender of our homeland. So let's just pop this guy in there. Actually, let's uh, let's see what trait we got. Phlegmatic. Okay, that's not going to be very helpful for us, but that's alright. We're going to make do with him. And let's go and fight the first battle. Which is actually kind of juicy. They got some Marauder Champions, some female Warriors. So, this is a Pyrrhic first, first victory. So, yeah, either way, we're going to fight it. So, we got a pretty basic starting Norsken army, some horsemen, a mammoth, which is always fun, and some uh, marauders. And that's gonna be perfectly fine. Although this, uh, this forest is a little bit annoying. I think we're gonna set up a little bit to the side here. We're gonna be in the center with some berserkers. And we'll put these on the flanks of that. Perfect. Pop you right in there, and you're gonna be just in the middle and just slaughter things. You can hang out in the back. And these guys are gonna go and skirmish stuff. And we don't see much. But, right. Wolfric also is a little bit broken, at least in the beginning. Because we're gonna start with an extra Marauder Champion every battle. Which is kinda nuts. So we're just gonna move like that. And we're gonna put them right up front because they are very sacrificial. So let's go like that. And let's see if we can get some picks with our throwing axes here. Because they got a lot of stuff. Do have some Marauder Horsemen over there. But if we just... Just... Uh, keep a little bit of distance to them, we'll be perfectly fine. And actually, let's uh, separate these a little bit so they don't get their shield benefits as much. Let's just ride up their flanks. And we're gonna do loads of damage with our throwing axes here. And we're just trying to get them to attack while we... Oh, we're... Pretty much are in position, so let's move up. Let's get you in position again. And we're getting good damage on the Marauder Champions, which is great. Oh, okay, now we need to start moving, because now they're attacking. But we're still gonna keep throwing our axes while we do. Oh, I thought I told you to move. <laughs> that is... Whoa, I just thought I told you to move. I guess you did, but that's alright. We're pretty much in position. Let's ride you up on the flank. Let's ride you away from there and send you in. I guess we can send the mammoth in there as well. Champions can just go and fight whatever. And that's a little bit annoying. 
Let's uh, chase them off just a little bit. And sh send in Wolfric, because this is going to be a juicy sea fang, I think. Oh, yeah. Just a blood fountain, and it doesn't... Oh, it actually reached a little bit. <laughs> Beautiful. So, doing some good damage there. We're gonna go... At... Oh, we actually caught the... The horseman. Excellent. So, let's uh, get a... Oh, that's a juicy... Searing Doom. And let's charge in over there. I think it's hitting our own a little bit, but that's perfectly fine. The Mammoth is just tearing through these guys. And yeah, those guys are dying. Very good. We got 80 more seconds for that, so I don't think we're gonna get another Sea Fang. That's alright. Let's... If these break, we can just uh, sandwich with those as well. But we're gonna get a big old rare charge here with our... Okay, good. Charge in there. And... Charge in there. And that should end these guys. Yeah, I think that's our Melosis. And a pretty decent first fight. Oh, come on. How are you not broken? And how are you not broken? Never mind, then. Come on, finish him off. It's basically all they have now. So I guess just watch this guy getting beat up. Whoever it is. I can't really see which one it is. Just a horde of marauders here. I can't find him, but he should be breaking... Right now. There's our Milosis. Beautiful. So, not too bad. So, definitely better than uh, a Pyrrhic victory. So, we're gonna take that. And I think we can just sacrifice the captives. That's some good money. And that's gonna give us our first confederation. Come on. There we go. So, we're just gonna for force that confederation. We only get Troll Fjord, but that's fine. And... Uh, we got a landmark here, which is gonna be pretty good. Marauder Champion giving uh, Guardian is great. And these are the buildings that we can spend our plunder on. We're not gonna get them right now, but we can just mouse them over and uh, let you have a look at them. But there's some neat stuff over there. And we'll, uh, we'll play with that later on. Right now, I think we just wanna get growth or money. Nah, growth. Let's go with growth. Growth is good. Let's start moving on just over there. And we're just going to get three hunters there. Because now we're just going to go and confederate these guys. And then we're going to beeline it over to Throg. And then just kind of take this path back. And then down to the donuts. At least that's the original plan. We'll see if things have to change. And uh, we're going to go with growth. Because... I think we could reach this. Oh, I'm pretty sure we could reach the border because I want one more turn of uh, of recruitment, and that's gonna be perfectly fine. So this is uh, basically our tech, but we got two things, and this is the the plunder tech. So first is we're gonna just get some movement range if we raise, but we're not gonna raise a lot in the beginning. So we're gonna hold on to our plunder for now. But this is going to be the stuff that we need before we leave Norska. Because that's going to make it really quick to get to the donut. And just let us sail all over the world, wherever we want to go. And I guess uh, if anyone has any opinion where we should go, then hit me up in the comments. I'd love to, know, uh, to hear where you want, want to go with this campaign. But we are going to start with this one. Because I want campaign movement range. And uh, I think we'll unlock some monster hunts pretty early as well, just to have the option to do them, if we wanted to. But yeah, that should be the first turn. Oh, we've already done that. So let's just move all the way up to the border. And we're gonna recruit a couple of hunters. I think five is a good number of hunters. And I don't think we're gonna need any more other spearmen, because we're gonna be so good on anti-large thanks to all of our hunters. And I'm gonna try to get some uh, normal javelin marauder horsemen as well, so I think we're gonna be set on anti-large. So we're just gonna get a normal marauder. 
And we can kind of just ignore the Grayling moot because we just need to hunt down their lord and just beat him up and show him who's boss. So I think this is good. And we're just going to pass the turn again. Oh, and there's our guy. Actually, you you are the guy, right? Lamont Dahl. Yeah, that's, that's our guy. Okay. So can we reach you? No. Okay. So I guess we just want to kind of scare him back to Doom Keep in that case. Because we can we can reach that probably. So if we just stand right there and just raid a little bit. Try to block him off a little bit. Like... Actually... Yeah, like that maybe. I think that's going to block him off at least. So Oh, and we also found Balakor. So... You don't really care about us, but uh, we'll probably be friendly eventually. At least I hope so, because you're going to be a pain in the ass if we're not. So let's just pass the turn and see if you just run back to Doomkeep. Oh, yes, went into Grail Moot. Well, that's kind of annoying, because I kind of want to just keep moving in that direction, but I guess we can just fight you in the Grailing Moot, sack it, and march stands to the east. And that's going to be perfectly fine. And it is going to be a Pyrrhic victory, so I guess we're fighting this one too. So it is a bit unfortunate that we're fighting this in a settlement, because I would have liked this horseman. But now they're instead all going to die. Hopefully they got some infrastructure so we can build new ones. But since they have a bunch more horsemen than we do, and they have the javelin variant, we're just going to hide those away over there, like so. And let's just... Do it like that. We're gonna separate them a little bit. Because I would like to go a little bit wide. Like so. It's perfectly fine. Actually, we can move that a little bit closer. There we go. Big fat line of uh, hunters behind. Like so. Gotta be up there. You can be up there. And uh, caster. We're gonna hang out back there. And now we just... Oh, right. I'm gonna keep forgetting that we're gonna get uh, Marauder Champions, but that's alright. So let's just uh, get information and move up. And I guess now we can just fast forward until we until we get to them. So we're just about range to almost get tickled by their javelins, but I think it's time to just charge in. This is fine. Move you up to start throwing shit. And let's see if we can get some good casts here. But it's a lot of stuff converging in on there. And actually, let's pull you back a little bit because there is a lot of javelins there. Oh, and that is a beautiful sea fang. Oh, this is gonna annihilate these units. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is gorgeous. Uh, we got some berserkers in there. So let's pull out our, our cavalry. Start running them in. And okay, they have successfully rampaged our guys. But let's uh, let's get our marauders into their into their javelins, and we should be perfectly fine. Yeah. Get you on top of uh, those guys, and oh no, let's charge into these guys. You can take them in close combat. So if they let you fight, then uh, we're just gonna kill them because we have better stats. That is perfectly fine. We're working on those guys. Let's try to throw some at you and some at you. Do not have any magic ready yet. That's alright. Let's just throw at those marauders. And we're dealing with those horsemen just fine. So. Let's have Wolfric and the mammoth fight. Oh, was there just some random marauder here hanging out? But... There comes the stomp. There we go. Wolfric should be able to deal with that. Oh, there's the other chieftain. But yeah, you should win that. They are leaving in droves. We're mostly dealing with their horsemen, but these are breaking. So we can go and help out the marauder horsemen a little bit. And yeah, you're dead, or mostly at the very least. Don't have a sea fang yet. But we do have a Searing Doom, so let's uh, basically finish that fight for you. 
He's gonna route. These guys are gonna route. Just get some javelins in them. And just fight you. You don't have to fight that though. You're taking loads of damage. You're dealing with the horsemen. And there goes those horsemen. We have taken quite a bit of damage, but that's alright. We're gonna heal up just fine here. Okay, so... Ooh, that's that's pretty nice actually. But we can just... Uh, well, we're not gonna start raising stuff in Norska, but we are gonna sack this. It's not a lot of money, but uh, I want to keep moving, so... We're gonna do that to preserve our movement a little bit. We're just gonna confederate that. Perfect. Challenge. And just pop into... Oh, actually, no, don't pop into uh, March Stance. Move normally, we'll get very little <laughs> replenishment. God damn, that is a little. But we can get more horsemen, so I think we'll get one more axe. Two... actually, let's got three, uh, three of each. I think that's pretty good. Although these guys are much better at just charging into backline stuff. And we do have some hunters. So do we go three of these maybe? We do have shields as well. Maybe we just go two of the normal... Actually, we're gonna go and fight Throg. We're gonna need some anti-large. So I think this is perfectly fine. And we'll just march next turn. Let's grab Root Marcher. And uh, I think we're gonna have to grab that. Because we desperately need more casualty replenishment. That is gonna help a bit. We can just grab Searing Doom. That is fine. And we can upgrade this. So, upgrade the capital, I guess. And I guess we, su we should repair that. So, what do we want to get here? We can grab some a bunch of growth here. Just try to grow this. Because it is going to be fairly safe, I think. It's in the middle. I think, uh, I think we're going to try to grow these. And they have built one of the special buildings. That's neat. Gonna get a little bit of campaign movement range for all of our armies, which is kind of nice. And very small. Just small, small bonuses, but a lot of these are gonna add up if we wanna get loads of them. And we are gonna wanna get this somewhere, but... We're not going to want to get that in a, ma a major settlement, because we're gonna want the, the end stuff. Well, I guess the most important thing is the werekins and stuff like that, but I would like some skin wolves. So, let's just get some growth in both of these. And we can actually grab the campaign movement range here. Just while we're here. And right, we also get this event every 30 turns, because we're gonna be part of the slave trade. So, we can basically... Pick a faction that we want to sell slaves to, and we'll get some rewards for it. So, this is gonna give uh, movement range and upkeep, which is really good actually. Uh, upkeep and growth, which some casualty replenishment, which we do really need. Um, some... okay, I guess all of these are gonna be upkeep, but that's a lot of magical items drop chance. That's pretty nice. I don't think we need that, that's mostly just ambush stuff. Got some control, but I don't think we're gonna need that either. And construction. I think I... I do really like the campaign movement range, because we want to get to Throg as fast as possible, but... 30 turns of 25 extra growth is gonna be substantial. So, we're gonna grab that. Oh, and I guess we have to actually... We have to actually do a quest for it. Okay, so we need 2,000 battle captives. That should be easy enough. Well... I say that, but we have to find people to capture as well. And actually, we're gonna just move normally one more turn. And let's grab ourselves a... maybe just a normal Marauder. Or we can get a Marauder hu Hunter. We do have way more melee attack, but less melee defense, and they throw axes. Let's get one axe thrower. 
That's gonna be pretty good. We can use you by just throwing you into combat after you've been throwing your axes a little bit. Because I want to be full stack, and if we march, we won't uh, we won't have time to recruit another one. So this is fine. Let's just pass the turn. And how many settlements do you have? Oh, you only have the one. I was thinking. No, right. Of course, the Ecstatic Legion is down here. So you are the vassal of the Ecstatic Legion. So we really don't want to attack you. But extra movement range is going to be excellent. Do we just finish this? I love just spamming Searing Doom uh, on metal casters, but metal shifting is also pretty good. So let's grab a metal shifting, and then we'll grab Searing Doom and Plague of Rust and Gehenna's, probably. So, we're not gonna wanna fight you. So let's just uh, sneak on by. I figured it's just on the way, and I wanted to see who the leader was, but forgot they started as, the, as a vassal. And I don't think we need any of these, so let's just unlock Monster Hunts. I don't think we're gonna do one just yet, but it's nice to have them unlocked. And let's unlock that, or let's build that. And right, we can actually switch you to growth now as well. So, now the question is, where is Throg? Because it could be either up here or down here, and I don't want to guess the wrong way. I guess we can check who you are at war with. You're only at war with Krakadrak. So you're probably down southeast. At least I hope you are, because that's the way we're going now. And, okay, he's not in Ultra Spawn. I'm guessing he's out at the front line fighting dwarves. And I hope they haven't killed him, because that would be unfortunate. Because I don't want to stay around here for too long, because I would like to... Um, I would like to just fight him killing and just go adventuring. So, let's... Uh, oh, we can also build stuff in Doom Keep, so let's upgrade that. It's gonna spend a lot of money on just upgrading that stuff. Oh, god damn it, Sirthak. Don't you fucking dare. Oh, crap. Okay, well that's not great. So, I guess we're gonna get attacked, I guess, in the center, which uh, isn't great. So, I guess we have two options. Either we go back and deal with Sirthaik, we will absorb all of his stuff and everything he takes, so I guess there's that. Or, we keep hunting Throg, we'll take him out, integrate him, and on our way back, we'll, uh, we'll take out Sirtha. Either way, we will end up with the same amount of stuff, but I think we're just gonna keep going after Throg. Because it's not like these are economic powerhouses or anything. So it's not like we need it. Or I guess we need it, but we don't have to have it. It's not a huge deal if they take it. And we will take it back. So I think we're just going to keep going. Because I want to find Throg. Because he is still alive, right? Yeah, okay, definitely. <laughs> he is stronger than us. So I'm going to assume that he's still alive. Oh, and uh, thanks for that reminder. We're gonna stop upgrading that. And I guess this might be kind of fine. I don't think it's gonna get all the way to Trollfjord. I think it's gonna... Well, maybe. Well, either way. Uh, let him take it if that's the case. Well, uh, I'm gonna just gamble on that. And uh, hopefully we can find Throg soon. Yeah, so there goes Doom Keep, but that's gonna have to be fine because there's nothing we can do about that. Oh, but we did get to kill something, which is way better than I thought we were gonna get. So, that's nice. And the dwarves are actually fighting back. Good for them. But, we got a new quest that is pretty alright. But let's just keep moving, see if we can find... It. Oh, there he is. Perfect. So, let's just move all the way up, and uh, uh, hopefully he moves from there, because if we have to fight him in a walled settlement, that's gonna be really rough. Actually, you wanna see me do something really stupid? Because what we could do is uh, we could declare war on Throg. We are in March stance, but he's definitely gonna come out and fight us, 
And I think we can take him. So we can get a little bit of money from doing that. Fine. And then just uh, sit out here and see if he takes the bait. I mean, he's definitely going to attack us because I think he's going to... I think the order is always going to be in his favor, but I think we can take him. So let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought was going to happen. And he does have a lot of... Does he not start with a Bile Troll anymore? He used to in Warhammer 2, or at least in SFO 2. But he doesn't seem to be doing that anymore. That's unfortunate. I was hoping we could get a Bile Troll. But, oh well, these trolls are going to be pretty dangerous. They have a lot of hunters and lots of spares. But I think we can take this. At least we're going to have to be able to take this, so let's fight it. Okay, so where are they? Do we not get to see where they set up? Or are they just hidden behind the hill or something? Oh, I guess we don't get to see. In that case, we're just gonna set up back here and just try to be as far away from them as possible. Because um, I would like as much time as possible to just skirmish a little bit. Because we do have more skirmish cab than they do. And uh, we're just gonna leave a little bit of a gap here. So we can get our free marauders in there. Slot the mammoths in there. Perfect. Uh, it's going to be our front line. And the hunters uh, is going to sit back there. And we're going to pull that one back just a little bit and put the axe throwers right there. Because they're going to be amazing against the infantry. And we can just send them in to fight if we need to because they are actually pretty dangerous. And you're just going to sit back there in group 5 and cast magic. So, you're going to skirmish there. You're going to skirmish there. And I'm setting them up kind of f as far away from us as possible so that we have, uh, we give them a little bit of an incentive to set up over there, which I don't know if it worked. Although, I did get them to cast a pendulum right away, so that's nice. And we got some ice wolves that we want to kind of lure out here, because we can pick them off. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good one. Uh, let's just start throwing some spear or axes at these spearmen. Come on. Come on. Got a big volley in there. And there they go. And let's split up a little bit. And just uh, everyone attack. Counter charge. We can, we can kill them there. So we're going to get loads of damage on these marauder spears I think. If we just hang away. And yeah, we're crumping these idiots. So, let's let's just skirmish these guys. Pull them back. Oh, and yeah, let's pull you back a little bit. And pull them back in general. Because right now they can hide in the forest a little bit. And I don't like that at all. And we got some... Uh, we got some trolls coming on over here. That is perfect. Just separate these from the rest of the pack. Run away from the trolls. They are surprisingly fast. Holy crap. Okay, separate and run, you damn idiots. Come on. Oh, um, keep throwing axes while you can. It's gonna be fine. And, uh, are we doing any damage to these trolls? Holy crap. Oh, I guess they have some missile resistance and some physical resistance that can actually mitigate a lot of that. So, let's just run you out on the flag. Oh, shit. Okay, they're bringing the entire army to just uh, deal with these guys, it looks like. That's perfectly fine. They should be in range of our javelins pretty soon. That's all right. Okay, pull back. I'm getting a little bit of damage at the very least, but I was expecting better. And we're getting them to use some magic, which is great. Okay, so these guys are dying. We are in range of their... or They are in range of our javelins, so... Let's just... Uh, get some access in them as well. Oh, pull you back, pull you back. Pu Man, you are slow to turn. Jesus! <laughs> okay, just pull behind the army. That's gonna be fine. We'll uh, take a lap around. Oh, a lap around. There you go, you idiots. 
And that's gonna be perfectly fine. Do we just turn all of this? I think we kind of have to. So let's just rotate a little bit, like so. You can just run on this way. And just keep throwing our shit at them. Okay, so we're a little bit stuck in those, but that's all right. Trying to go up on the flank. Let's pull you away. And if we just can just get you back there, we'll uh, set up our javelins over there to throw at these. Go and intercept. And do we just go? I think we just go here. It's go time. Set you up over there. Let's start throwing shit in there. Both of you are throwing in there. Perfect. Oh, shit. You're not supposed to be over there, though. These guys are gonna run up the... F okay, that's... That's all kinds of wrong. Okay. Take some time, run over there. Oh, we got three range units here that can fight Throg. We got a huge Searing Dew we can cast right... Oh, that's a bad one. Uh, pull back, pull back. Well, I think we did more damage to them than we did to ourselves at the very least. But yeah, that wasn't a great one. Okay, wait a little bit for that. And... We are dealing with the Norse controls, that's good at the very least. Oh shit, okay. Uh, I don't want to kill Throg. I don't want to kill Throg. Uh, you go and shoot over there. He is shattered though. Beautiful. Man, the hunters are so good. You focus in on there. And... Oh, that is a beautiful sea fang right there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Throw in over there. Let's throw in over there. Oh, actually, you come to throw there. Get you. Oh, crap. Trolls. <laughs> but let's get a charge in on those. That's fine. You're doing great. Let's pull you back, though. Keep throwing in there. And we're doing pretty all right. Let's uh, go and help out with that. We got 10 seconds more until we get our next Searing do, which is gonna be fine. Let's go and deal with that actually. And send in some stuff over there. Okay, you keep pulling back. You're having troubles, that's fine. Wolfric, go and deal with that. You go and throw shit over there. Throwing axes, go and throw shit over there. And we don't have a Sea Fang, but we should have a Searing Doom right there. Okay. Um, great weapons, you go and deal with that. Go around and charge these Marauder Great Weapons, because these guys are just gonna run. That's fine. Okay, you actually go and fight over there. Go and help. Let's grab all of you. Charge in there. You done great just need to break things now and uh, I think this is their kind of last pockets of uh, of uh, units so if we can break these I think we can get some army losses here Wolfric you're anti-large go and deal with that I think and I think that's army losses come on there we go perfect that wasn't even that bad. Excellent. So there we go. First step accomplished. Throg is uh, is under control. And uh, that's going to give us a big chunk of Norska. Well, I guess uh, once we... Once the next turn starts, at least. And there we go. Confederate Throg. That's going to tank our economy but that's fine we get some really good buff from f from fighting throg as well and uh, first off get rid of you and is there any other lords or heroes no well the heroes we'd keep around but the lords not so much 
So, you still level from that, which is nice. Uh, we don't have any frost worms, probably won't get any either. And these are all pretty fine. Let's give you Root Marcher though. You are... Do we just finish Searing Doom? I just really like Searing Doom. I think we're gonna do that, just spam the shit out of that. And I think I wanna get just our Marauders buffed up, because we're gonna have... We're always gonna have some kind of Marauder, because the the Huskarls and the Ulf Hednar... Where are those? These guys are also Marauders, and they are insane. So we're always gonna keep some Marauders around, and the Marauder Champions are just great. So buffing them up is gonna be excellent. But question is, um, how much of Throg do we disband, or do we just keep all of it and take out the Dwarves here? Because it would be nice to take out the Dwarves, actually. Um, so let's go and sit and raid over there. It is going to give us some replenishment. They are kind of hurt. We might be able to just take that because they just conquered it. They, yeah, the garrison is still really hurt. So seem the, the it seems like the army is as well. And the dwarves had notoriously bad <laughs> replenishment. We could just bring Throg and then he'll take a lap. But I don't want to give them too much time to replenish here. Or re-recruit stuff. So we're just gonna... Oh, that's not necessary, I guess. Well, it doesn't hurt either. We get more replenishment this way. We're gonna sit here, take that out. Wolfric is gonna take this out. And do we actually... No, it's just global recruitment for five turns. Jesus. And we don't have any of those ready, so... Yeah, I think we're gonna go after that next turn. And there goes Grayling's Moot, but that's fine. But we keep killing their great weapons for some reason. I mean, it's great, but we really don't have any business killing anything of this with our garrisons. But, hey, I'll take it. So, how hurt are we? Oh, we get a bunch of quests as well. That's nice. But, we are pretty good. I mean, the Mammoth is a little bit more hurt than I was hoping. And uh, I would like the, or the Berserkers to be a little bit healthier, because we might be fighting dwarves there. But overall, I think this is pretty alright. And we could go into the Rampage Stance, get a little bit extra speed. Which I guess would help in uh, closing the distance, in just in case they have any artillery. I think the Garrison has some, but that should be so hurt that it doesn't matter. But I think we're just gonna go normal stance, because I don't really want to rampage all over everything. Especially not with the amount of hunters we have. And before we declare war on them, who are you actually... Okay, you're just fighting the all-seeing eye. That is perfectly fine. So let's find them. And uh, how much will you give for this? I mean, we could get a non-aggression pact. But uh, I think they're gonna kind of like us anyway, and... I don't think these guys usually stick around for that long, so I don't think it matters. I'm just, I just want the money. So let's go with that. And let's go and kill some dwarves. Or at least have a look at their garrison. They do have some healthy thunders that we're gonna have to deal with. And a full, full strength grudge throwers, but, but these guys are really hurt though. So if this was all full health, then we would have been in trouble, but the fact that they're really hurt is really good for us, so I think we're good. So we kind of just need to get up close and... Oh, crap. Of course they gotta set up all the way back on the hill. I mean, it's a smart thing to do, but that's gonna make this rough. Because I was thinking we just engage their front line, grab our skirmish cab and just ride around and hit their back line, but this is gonna be painful because this is a big hill to climb okay so i guess we're just gonna s oh wait it's all the way back here oh that is so far away god damn it dwarves oh, i hate you but uh let's just set up like that and make a little bit of a gap because uh, i think it's important that we put our healthy stuff on the right because we're just gonna engage this side so the right flank is gonna be most important that it holds we're gonna just 
pop in Wolfric there, and we're gonna set our free Marauders in that little slot over there, as usual now, I suppose. And you're all gonna be group one. Let's set you up like so, and we're gonna switch positions on you, because again, it is most important that our healthy stuff is there, so we can fight properly. And the axes are just gonna be right there. You're gonna be group two, group five, and uh, we're gonna just uh, send these guys up to harass a bunch. Because if we can just pull a bunch of stuff of this, off of this, then uh, this is gonna be much easier. So let's uh, let's just start marching up, and I suppose fix you right there. And then we're just riding up here. And I guess start throwing shit at these blasting charges because they are gonna be real rough on our marauders. So, oh, and you're a group one. So, let's just speed up. We're gonna take some uh, catapult shots on our cav, I think. But I think it's better to take it on the cav than it is to take it on the infantry at the very least. So, oh, right. Um, forgot that these guys are much faster than the rest of our stuff. I guess we can... Just send them up on the flank. Getting loads of uh, free shots over here. Actually, let's uh, ride these around. You're gonna just charge in. Ah, uh, yeah, just take the blasting charges on the chin. That's fine. And charge you in. We can break these really fast this way. Oh, we're taking lots of shots though. And just go into the blasting charges. Perfect, you are broken. You will most likely route off the battlefield. So now we can just split up. Pull these guys off a little bit. Oh, we're bringing thunders and shit with us. That is excellent. And we can just skirmish you a little bit. While we try to get these in position. So let's rotate them just a little bit. Oh, you're supposed to get in there too. Come on, mammoth. Do your job, you damn idiot. Well, actually, let's just charge in on these as well. They should break instantly, basically. There we go. Move you up. Let's get fighting. And you are rampaging, but that's perfectly fine right now. Oh, you actually came back. Oh, you bastards. That's alright. These guys are not coming back. And uh, we can just keep kiting these guys. So, let's uh, charge in on that. Start throwing your axes. Start throwing shit. You're fighting just fine over there. Got berserkers coming in. That is great. And let's start raining some uh, some death on these thunders. Let's pull these. Oh, those are dwarf warriors. I thought it was one of my cab for a sec. No, no. These are, there's three over here. Let's charge those blasting charges. Let's ride these guys around a little bit, like so. Just avoid them. And actually, let's just grab you and send you in over there. Ooh, now I really want my... My... Uh, Searing Doom back. That's okay, we got a Sea Fang and... Ooh, this is actually a pretty decent Sea Fang. We can break this entire position. And just shoot that. Oh, I missed it! Yeah, that's, that's gonna break pretty quick. Let's get on top of that. Those guys are breaking. Get in there. Get in there. And do we have a Searing Doom? We do. Let's hit that right there. That is gonna be a huge Searing Doom. And we're just gonna take out loads of dwarves there. Ah, uh, that is gorgeous. So, we're on top of their, on their thunders. We're breaking stuff here. The Oh, you need to... You need to fight stuff. <laughs> That's all right. We got there. Uh, you go and hit the rear in that because you you can you can chase that off. That's perfectly fine. Mammoth, you're gonna be able to fight these dwarf warriors, no problem. Throwing axes, fighting that is perfectly fine. And yeah, these are. Let's pull those off. I would like to I would like to charge you in right in back there because that is gonna be a beautiful rare charge and that's gonna break this position downhill right in the sandwich there's the hammer and anvil 
Beautiful. And I think that might be getting to army losses. Because there's a lot of stuff breaking right now. Let's make sure that the Thane breaks. You're about to break. Anything else? Well, there is those guys. Let's grab a horse. Send you in there. Grab a horse. Send you in there. We don't have a sea fang. And you can just... There we go. Beautiful. That was a really fun fight, actually. So that should be the majority of these dwarven strengths over here. So let's just occupy that. We're going to get to replenish a bit. And now we can just uh, start beelining it back home to take out the menacing Sirtha Ek. Although we are going to just go and uh, take this as well. But that should be an auto result. Perfect. So Throg can... Uh, well, we're actually not that in that big of a deficit. Ooh, and you're probably gonna be wanna be even wanna trade. Perfect. You're gonna be really happy that we're fighting the the dwarfs. That's good. Ooh, do you wanna be friends? Because I just wanna be friends with all the chaos around here because that's gonna mean we don't have to defend as much here. Throg is probably gonna go and fight a bunch of Kislev, but. That's going to be later. We might want to go and take him out too, just to have the coast. Although that is going to pull in the empire against us probably. So we'll see. Either way, I think I'm going to end this episode here because we've had lots of fun fights in this one. And we've taken over most of Norska. Now we just need to deal with this again. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.